various um, government related companies, or clothing what you did, or that. So the first question is photographers wouldn't let me go. Um, and then, of course, the other sort of key area where, where someone like myself, perhaps, is, is, is needling away so that people like yourselves can take up and pressurise on these matters. Political funding. Um, I, I, I did a story last night where we looked at how um, something I've been involved in for some time, which is um, concerns about unknown, one political party, secretly funding past another political party. Um, something that was denied for a very long time. Um, the association between the parties was also denied. Um, now you have a clear conflict of interest where it has emerged that um, at least 2.5 million just before the last election went from an unknown official via cash into the bank account of the past um, political party and, and, and then was used to fund a record number of deposits on seats for past to run, to, 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 to fight. Now, that is a conflict of interest between two parties. And unless you have proper transparency in political funding, which is one of the things I think that you must prioritize to fight for, transparency in political funding, uh, you know, these, these conflicts of interest, political conflicts of interest, are going to thrive. Um, and um, I think that's one thing I would like to, to remind everyone, that hand in glove with conflict of interest is lack of transparency. Um, and um, people will know that it doesn't look good if it's discovered that uh, you know, certain people are benefiting from every decision made by the decision makers who are supposed to be there to serve the people. Um, and so they, they keep it under wraps. So within all of this, um, obviously I'm going to, as, as a journalist, as someone who works in the media, make my opportunity to remind you how important it is um, that our role, the role of journalists, is allowed to function properly. Because of course, we're the ones, you know, we're not the cops, we're not the ones who can go in and knock on doors and open up bank accounts and scrutinize, but we're the ones who can be the intermediaries. We tip everyone off about that secret corruption, that secret conflict of interest. And if we're not allowed to operate, then those cops can't move in. Or there's no pressure on those cops to move in. There's no pressure on anyone. Which is why, of course, any corruptly inclined uh, regime or indeed group of people will try to silence the media. And um, you well know how that silencing of the media operates. It was very effective here in Malaysia. And in fact, you needed a foreign girl like me, um, who was outside of Malaysia, um, to, to get to work on some of those big corruption scandals that your media were, were, were you know, deliberately prevented from being able to cover.